Well, China concerns are certainly one that are top of mind for investors, but so too is what is going on with the consumer and their ability to continue to withstand the slowdown and inflation as economic realities force some consumers to trade down to value buying. Big box retailers like Walmart and Costco are outperforming peers. What does this mean for other retailers? Let's not forget we're going to be getting a basket of earnings this week. Let's bring in Mark Cohen. He is the former CEO of Sears Canada and currently the director of retail studies at Columbia Business School. Mark, thank you so much for being with us. And I imagine you teach your students a lot about cyclicality and the type of products that work in certain economic environments. Where are we when it comes to economic sensitivity? Or is this cycle sort of unlike any other because of we're coming out of the pandemic? Well, this cycle is same and different. Uh, the pandemic certainly has uh, left uh, its mark. And, and though lots of folks would think that it's over, it's really not. There's still service and supply disruptions throughout the world and, of course, consumer preferences, which were completely uh, changed during the pandemic, have not come back to quote-unquote normal. Uh, layer on to that, the influence of a worldwide uh, bout of inflation, which many, many consumers have never experienced in their lives because uh, they, don't, they don't remember what life was like in the 70s and early 80s, so they weren't even alive then. So, so we're, we're dealing with a, a variety of cyclical effects layered on top of each other, and it's, uh, it's quite a hell of a ride if you're trying to study or understand or, in fact, run a business these days. Who's vulnerable, do you think? I mean, so much of the high end is thought to be insulated from what is going on because their spending is sort of unimpeded by a slowdown or even inflation. But when you look at some of these earnings stories, that's not proving to be true. Well, it's obvious that the, uh, the, one, the ubiquitous 1% have plenty of disposable income and are not necessarily affected by... Uh, inflationary pricing, but their attitude towards spending is certainly um, uh, emblematic of what they're doing. They came out of the woodwork, they, the, 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 the affluent came out of the woodwork uh, during COVID, uh, spending enormous amounts of money on their home, uh, on their home office because they couldn't travel and they couldn't entertain. Uh, now they seem to be backing off a bit for fear of um, this ubiquitous recession that's supposedly looming, which may or may not ever occur. Uh, there is a tremendous flight to value, which is emblematic of uh, inflationary periods. Uh, customers are going down market, and they're also reverting to uh, necessities as opposed to uh, spending money on uh, discretionary stuff. So the Walmarts are booming because their prices are low and they sell groceries. Grocery is a big, big winner right now. Uh, interestingly enough, Target in the U.S. is doing poorly, uh, largely because their footprint in grocery is nowhere near as competitive uh, as Walmart's is. Uh, so this is a tale of two cities, you know. Uh, the, the value players in the U.S. and in Canada, TJX, uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx winners, seem to be doing extremely well. The dollar stores are, at least the, the dollar general stores in the U.S. are booming. My guess is Dollarama is as well in Canada. Uh, the, the middle ground, uh, the Macy's, Nordstrom's, likely the Bay, are all struggling because the apparel and accessory businesses are all way off. Uh, what they had hoped to be this, this coming fall. When you think about um, change agents sort of coming in um, and trying to revamp, sometimes we see it in the part of activist investors, and I wonder if we're going to start to see that with, with share prices being so depressed, although you know, they, they have sort of a mixed track record, and maybe mixed is generous when it, when it comes to activists' ability to change things at retailers. Well, uh, you're being very kind when you say mixed. The, uh, the track record that activists have in moving into uh, retail stocks, taking possession of retail management or taking possession of retail strategies is uh, at best poor. 
Um, there's no question that depressed stocks create opportunity for investors. But uh, these folks that come into these businesses have to have a viable game plan, uh, one that survives the kind of debt that they load these companies up with. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the cyclicality of the business uh, is something that can't really be overcome in the short term. So here we go. We're in for another cycle of disruption. And um, again, the, the, the scorecard that uh, uh, activists have, certainly in retail, is uh, it's not something to be proud of. Oh, and what about uh, you know management changes? Another catalyst is potentially putting in a new CEO. Investors got really excited about the gap, for example, when a new CEO was tapped uh, to, to be uh, helm the company on its turnaround. Uh, hope springs eternal. Now, now I don't know the Gap, uh, the new Gap CEO. He gets uh, lots of credit for having turned around the toy business at Mattel on two separate uh, occasions. Uh, what marker does that have for his ability to reposition a really poorly managed apparel company or a, a, a portfolio of apparel companies? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the Gap has been plagued for well over a decade with successive managers who were widely regarded in their field, Disney Resorts, Shoppers Drug Mart, McKinsey Consulting, uh, none of whom were able to move the needle. And so we'll have to wait and see what happens at the gap. Uh, Kohl's, another large retail player in the U.S., uh, has new management. Um, they've been talking about how they expect a really uh, powerful back to school. We'll have to wait and see whether they can make good on their promise. But I'm a bit cynical because um, I believe in uh, the ubiquitous Einstein's definition of insanity, which is to say doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome.